Hey guys, welcome to Stampin' with Alicia. Today starts my first day of my mini series using the Succulent Garden Suite out of the Occasions catalog. Remember, this catalog is good till May 31st of 2017, and every $50 purchase you make um, receives you a free item out of the Celebration catalog. And the Celebration catalog is only good till March 31st. So if you're interested in any of these items, you definitely want to jump on them. Um, so we are going to be working with the Succulent Suites. I'm going to do about three days um, this week using this suite. The only thing I don't have from the suite is the ribbon, which I may pick up because I really love those colors. So let me show you what we're going to be doing. Here is the card. I made very simple, very basic, um, but I feel with the designer series paper that comes in the suite, there's a lot going on here. So this is the uh, card I made fairly quick. I'm going to do something totally different with the card I'm going to make with you today. So here's the stamp set. You'll definitely need this. And then you will need the dies. And I've already taken out the dies I'm going to use today, as, as well as the stamps. Then I'm going to be using the Layering Circles Framelit dies. I've already taken out the two sizes I will be using. Then here is the cardstock pack right here in the suite. The Succulent Garden cardstock pack. It is mint macaron, old olive, and tip top taupe. So three different colors that coordinate really well with the Succulent Garden designer series paper. Um, let me show you this real quick. This is 12 sheets, two of each, of six double-sided designs, and they're 12 by 12. So, really pretty patterns. Um, it's almost hard for me to even use, use the paper because the patterns are so pretty. So really nice. We'll be using some of that. Um, as far as ink, we have Mint Macaron, Sweet Sugar Plum, Calypso Coral, Tip Top Taupe, and Old Olive. Now for our card we are making today, I took a piece of Tip Top Taupe cardstock and I cut it at four and a quarter and then I scored it at the five and a half mark to make a top folding card. For my card base, I took some Calypso Coral and cut it at five and a fourth by four. So that'll be my uh, card base, so I'll go like that. Then I used these two dies, my circle, layering circle framelits. And I cut out Old Olive using the scallop. And then I used some DSP in this pattern using the circle. And I went ahead and adhered it. Um, I had wanted to use this for a different project and it didn't work out. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and use it now. That is why it's together. Otherwise, I would have done it together with you. And then I took a piece of tip top taupe. And this is an inch by four and a quarter. And this is what we're going to do our sentiment on. Okay. So first, I'm going to move all of this out of the way because this will be last. I want to go ahead and stamp all of my flowers that I'm going to use. So I have my scratch paper and then I have some white cardstock and this is going to be my stamp off paper. And I'm just going to go ahead and see what I want. Get things organized over here. Um, I probably will stamp more than I will use but I would rather do that than not have enough. So I'm gonna take my old olive first. Now the stamps, they're a layering stamps. So these two go together, uh, these two go together, and so on. You don't have to use them as layering stamps, but the option's there. So we're gonna start with this flower. Now, I'm taking my solid stamp and inking it up in my Old Olive, making sure it's completely covered. 
And then I'm going to go to my scratch, stamp it off, and then stamp on the cardstock I'm going to use. I'm just going to make a couple while I'm at it. I'd rather have too many than not enough. Stamp it off and stamp it here. Okay. Then I'm taking the same ink, Old Olive, and I'm taking the outline image of, that goes with the solid image. And I'm going to ink this up. The difference is I'm not going to stamp it off. And then line it up. And then I get this. Oops, that is awful. Let's see if we can line it up again. I don't think I don't think it'll be perfect, but okay, that's horrible. <laughs> Let's do this again. Stamp off, stamp on here. And I have a little bit of dark spots, but you know, that's okay. It kind of looks like a shadow. There we go. To figure out how it lines up. That's better. Then I'm going to take my sweet sugar plum. And I'm taking the smaller of the, um, the succulent. This was the bigger one. Here's the smaller one. Taking the solid image first. Going to ink it up. Stamp it off and then stamp it here and do it again. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead, before I ink it up, and go ahead and figure out, go ahead and line this up before I, there we go, stamp it down. Beautiful. Perfect. And then I am taking my uh, cal Calypso Coral and I'm not going to do a layering stamp. Instead, I'm just going to stamp the outline. Next see what I haven't used yet. I'm going to take my tip top taupe and I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. Stamp it off. Stamp it down. Okay. Oops. And then take the outline version. This one's easy to line up because very distinctive shape. I'm going to take my mint macaron and go ahead and ink this next stamp up. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about that because if I use that, I will just place it in a way where that part will be covered. Yes. My old olive for this one. I like this. I like this stamp. This one. I think it's interesting. I'm going to do three of them. Okay. Then take the outline image all right so here are my images all stamped up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my dies and if you have a magnetic plate you can go ahead and put these on your big shot and pop them down I do not so what I do is I just use a little painter's tape to adhere the dies. Now, you kind of have to play around and see where these line up. There we go. That took longer than it should have. <laughs> and 
take this one. And I put the tape on the outside of what I'm cutting because painter's tape can tear your paper if you are not careful. All right, so here are all my pieces cut out. I'm just gonna kind of put those aside and bring in my card. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm coming in with my fast fuse to go ahead and adhere my card base to my card panel. And then I think I wanna hear this flat because I'm gonna have the sentiment popped up. So. I'm gonna do my sentiment here somewhere. So I'm gonna go and take my pieces and kind of lay them out where I think I want them to go. Look good. So, if you've ever like laid this out and then you're like, oh, I love the way it looks, but I don't want to move it. Um, there's a trick that's going around. I don't know how long it's been around, but it's something I always use. I just take some press and seal and just take a, a piece. Whoops. And then, so I like the way the design looks. I go ahead and press it on my card carefully. Mine's a little rippled. Usually easier than this, but now that I'm doing it live, I'm making it difficult. So, you press it on your design, and typically you just lay it flat. I made mine a little bit harder than what it is. Press it on your design and go ahead and lift it up carefully and then your whole design will come up. And then from there you can add your adhesive. I actually want to move this since it's shifted. Add your adhesive and I'm going to use my Combo Mono Glue. Now, if you have pieces in the front of your design and you have a lot of layers, um, you may not get glue on it or whatever you're adhering it uh, with. So once you adhere it to your card, you go back and you check it and make sure all the pieces are, in fact, adhered down, which I will do with you. So bring my card back. Flip this over and then position again where I want it. And then I just press down. And this little thing being a booger. There we go. This one too. So I press down. And then I remove my press and seal. And little pieces like this may not stick, but you know, that's okay. Because <laughs> most of it is stuck to my card. So I just go through and I check what may not have got, um, what may not have had the most, enough adhesive is what I'm trying to say, if I could spit it out. So go ahead and kind of check these pieces. They're all good. And now I want to go ahead and do my sentiment, which I'm going to stick right here. And I chose happy birthday to a very special person. And I'm going to ink this up in my Calypso Coral. And I'm going to 
attempt to center it, get it straight. Now what I want to do is bring my card back and I'm going to adhere this down. I think hmm, I'm going to use my triple banner punch and punch some banners at the end. There we go. <laughs> um, I believe this is an inch. Mine's a little bit less than an inch, so I really have to be careful when lining it up. Otherwise, the banner's going to be off like it was. So I just go in there, do a little bit. I do a little bit at a time because I'd rather not do enough than do too much. Being I cannot see through this punch. There, I think that's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and hear this on some Stampin' Dimensionals, adhere it with. Alright, I kind of like this. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that just to add a little interest to this corner. Why not? So tomorrow, my other project will be just using the dies, less of the stamps, and then for my third day of the series, which will probably probably be Thursday um, I'm gonna do a special project it's not gonna be a card or anything like that but it will be using the die so I'm really looking forward to that but if you guys are interested in any of the products I use today please look at the links in the description box below there you will find um, the items I used with links to my store if you have any questions, let me know. And remember, any $50 purchase gets you a free item out of the Celebration catalog. And over the next few days, I will be doing some projects using the Celebration items so you guys know what, um, what is in the catalog. If you are interested in the Occasions catalog and the celebration catalog let me know if you place an order of any amount you automatically get these with a thank you note from me and then you're on my mailing list for a year and can receive future catalogs so I hope you guys enjoyed this day one of our succulent oh so succulent series and I will catch you guys tomorrow bye